Hello guys, uh, today I will show you how my uh, iPhone connect to the my TS10 uh, car display. When I turn on my car, okay, I don't do anything. It will automatically connect. See, it connect automatically, and uh, I I got this uh, CarPlay uh, uh, Apple CarPlay. So I can uh, in this uh, Apple CarPlay. I can make calls very easy and I can play the music uh, Spotify music I don't want to use my mobile okay I'm I will keep that way my mobile and Google map and of course uh, I can uh, type if I need any locations uh, I can type anywhere whatever you need to go just uh, I don't want to use my mobile while driving it's very easy and uh, what are the settings in the google map there are these are the settings you can change here if you want volume traffic like this so these are other application for music map i have a uh, apple uh, uh map also you can use if you want and messages uh the apple music car if i press the car it will go to my uh, car display application if i select again uh, the uh, T-Link it will come back to Apple Play and podcast and WhatsApp WhatsApp uh, those uh, WhatsApp uh, we cannot do read. you want to send a message or make oh, we cannot uh, read the message uh, the display will tell the it will uh, tell us I mean it will read the message we cannot read because this is a safety issue because of safety issue safety purpose they don't uh, we, we cannot read it will uh, uh, it will read itself the voice and uh, Spotify I have settings and Google map uh, in the settings you have drive in focus uh, there are these settings you can change the automatic uh, I, I like appearance dark uh, wallpaper you can change whatever you like wallpaper if you want to blue blue okay so series suggestions show album art those things spotify also uh you have music you have playlist artist album everything is fine it's working fine very smooth there's no any issues whenever you come to car once you start the car it will automatically will connect you don't want to connect manually uh so this is the uh car play this is uh i'm running uh, android uh 17. Point uh two uh i'll show you my update last update uh it's 17.2 so this is latest uh ios so this is uh the ios 17 uh car play applications so similar to 16 there's no much uh, difference everything same okay guys uh if someone uh wants connect how how did i connect it's very simple okay first you want to do uh, you have to keep on your Wi-Fi. Always you have to keep on your Wi-Fi. Plus you have to keep on your Bluetooth every time. So uh, I will disconnect my uh, Apple CarPlay. I will show you how uh, I will forget this one. I will forget this device. I will show you how I connected. Okay. Now I don't have any uh, any connection between my uh, display and my car display and my mobile. Okay. I have a Bluetooth on and also Wi-Fi on. It must on. Okay. What you do first? Uh, you go to bluetooth okay find bluetooth option okay uh my bluetooth pin number zero 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 okay four zeros go to bluetooth search for uh, bluetooth device okay okay i can see msn car wi-fi uh sorry no uh, in the bluetooth See my mobile. This is my mobile. I found the mobile, so I select my mobile. Okay, I got the pin request, so my pin is zero 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 zero. Okay, pair. Okay, allow. Okay, it got connected. See automatically, the CarPlay uh, 
uh, started and I got another uh, pop-up use CarPlay so I will click use CarPlay that's it guys this is uh, very simple to connect uh, this is how you connect to your iPhone okay so uh, once I shut down my car I can go home I can come back again once I started it will automatically connect I don't want to uh, do a force connection here I need to do I don't want to do any manual connection this is very simple and the Apple car plays better than Android uh, Android uh, play Android um, I used to use before Android it's very complicated sometimes you know it's uh, sometimes not connecting I have to do manual uh, while driving the app even uh, it's very uh, complicated the Apple I use like uh, maybe like more than three months very smooth I don't have any complaint so Android also similar uh, steps you can use um, I, I will show you how to connect the Android I will off my Bluetooth here so uh, So I just off, okay. I will check if there's no connection, okay. So similar, I will open my Bluetooth, okay. So I will disconnect my old car name, okay. So I will go to Bluetooth, I will search for device, okay. This is my Note 9 Samsung. So I select this one. So I got the pin request one, two, three, four, four zeros. Okay. Uh, you have to give the password, your mobile password. So it got connected. when the this display connecting to your mobile uh, your uh, you will have a wi-fi connection also between uh, your car display and your mobile you see the wi-fi this uh, i got uh, limited wi-fi it means there's no access this is just wirelessly it will connect because we have to on wi-fi plus bluetooth both connection we have to keep on both wi-fi and bluetooth so this is the android carplay so these are the applications you can uh, whatever applications you have those will uh, come here show here uh, whatsapp waze even in apple you can put but i don't use waze uh, settings these are the settings you have uh, so it's very slow unlike apple it's like not smooth uh, like apple and you have map uh, you have phone calls also you can take the calls uh, from here you can dial from here also so this is how it's work uh, android carplay it also connecting automatically whenever you start the car but um, not f like apple sometimes it gives headaches sometimes it doesn't connect automatically so you have to do manual so i think it's better apple so guys let me show you more thing about uh, the display so many people ask about displays uh, some uh, my subscribers ask how i uh, increase my microphone i mean when 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 he call or receive calls his voice is not clear so i have an option but i don't know it will work you have to go to bluetooth go to settings there is microphone gain microphone gain there you have more options you can put max okay if you select the max maybe you will have good uh, voice i'm not sure but try okay volume also you can put max so this is the option there's no other option otherwise you can uh, install uh, external mic from the behind of this device there's option 3.55 uh, 3.5 mm jack is available you can plug one uh, microphone and uh, the small microphone also comes with this device when i when i purchase i got one uh, microphone so you can plug and you can keep it here somewhere in the app can keep it here up you can bind here and so i hope it will work for your mic okay so this is the mic um, and i will show you my um, i will let me connect uh, i let me open uh, my hotspot i will show you uh, 
uh, what is my uh, latest uh, update from my display okay so I go to settings I will go to update uh, let me check any update available so this is the latest update uh, you can see this is my update uh, uh, version this is I updated like uh, two months before after that there's no new update uh, I, I didn't get any update new one so with this update I got some extra features like um, this application TPMS application I don't have a uh, tire pressure management so there's no sensors so it doesn't work uh, this application and this one do fun play this is uh, with the uh, new update I got so uh, with this one I can update all my my uh, available uh, applications uh, like YouTube whatever application I have it can update uh, if you have latest versions of the application you can upgrade so so you have some uh, like see my my car mate i can update do fun record voice uh, there are some application you can all update uh, like this is like a play store uh, you have more application car life players tools tpms ways car link easy connection those application is there this application i received with uh, i got with the latest uh, update the android update for this one also i got do fun record this application i can uh, plug a extra camera for the front it can record this application also came with the latest update so I didn't install separately, it's done automatically I got with the latest update for the car. So you can plug uh, extra USB camera and uh, you can uh, use here. Plus, uh, see, when I were, uh, now just, I now update, I got another uh, application TV. I don't know, I, I don't know, I don't use these things. Uh, let me try later, what can I do? I don't know, no signal TV. So just now I got disk. Uh, maybe this is for DVD. I don't have DVD here. So, some phone. Um, I don't know. I, I, yeah, maybe I can directly take calls from here before I didn't have this phone option here. So, I got something new. Now, just now I got it. So, this one uh, I got today. So, if anyone want, if anyone has extra cameras in your car, you don't have the application this is the application uh, you just need to update your application so i will show you my uh, android version maybe it will help for you uh, these are the informations my android maybe you, it will help for you to check the uh, versions i have 4 gb ram 32 gb this is the system versions you can uh, check okay guys so something else i will show you many people ask what is the factory password like blah 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 so factory password uh, there are two password if uh, there are there's one password for this one double eight double eight if you press this one you will get limited uh, configurations okay this is very limited like I get door information logo setting uh, export log bin steering wheel left side volume up brake settings those only few so there's one more uh, password uh, that is one two three four five six three four five six you will get extra uh, options like so many things i don't know channel balance maybe this will help for you i engineering mode have more function more settings there are so many which doesn't support to my car system upgrade connectivity i don't know so many things you can change here antenna settings so many things locations so this one uh, in under engineering mode and more settings down 5g channel setup logo settings apk installation touch area key so many um, 
things tools i mean settings you can change here resolution uh, even the radio uh, uh, which one china region i mean uh, europe usa south uh, asia maybe i i don't know japan australia so many things we are living in dubai i don't know which i want to select here maybe south asia i don't know I don't, uh, radio antenna power configuration google uh, so many i don't use this everything because I, I, i'm not i don't i don't google because my car is very simple i just need reverse camera and uh, to listen some music only so but so many cam uh, this one functions okay what else i can sh show you i think i have separate video for developer option password so you can check that one uh, if you go more this is uh, same like a normal options here um, if someone think this is good yeah this is very good guys because you know here uae the temperature around 45 sometimes 50 well, sometimes i keep my car outside normally here very hot even this hot weather this one i use um, more than one year now one year like three months one year and three months i, I hope so this one the age even under hot weather this is perfectly working very very good no complaints 100 percent satisfied i paid i mean i paid around uh, 300 dollars for this unit and back camera i'm satisfied about this unit very good no uh, no issues until now no hanging no lagging it doesn't uh, give headache while driving so suddenly stop the music suddenly crashing suddenly restart nothing nothing never happened even one single time never happened i love because even when i drive the touch the when i touch is responding very quick you know if you drive in the car in the road if this one does not work properly in the touch you know if you want to change a music suddenly the music did not change you get crazy you know you know while driving you don't want like this so touch should be very smooth if you buy cheaper car unit you will get like that experience so um what i have uh, this function also is steering wheel this is also came uh, after you know after a few months i purchased i did update so i got these functions also steering wheel uh, uh, what else i don't know i'm uh, okay uh, someone asked how to adjust the reverse line um, the reverse uh, when you reverse this line two lines so you have to put your car to reverse mode then your reverse car uh, camera is activated uh, you will see a, a gear icon here click this one select sorry touch this one so you can adjust here brightness contrast uh, saturation also so apart from here you can uh, right side this option camera and you can change the camera settings reverse uh, reverse ruler line okay uh, an image and reverse ruler lay, uh, line layout you can see ruler line adjustment if you click this one you have two plus I um, icons you can simply adjust wherever you want how you uh, wherever you want how you want you can adjust this thing as per your requirement how you want so if you adjust this one you should have a proper parking bay uh, then only you can uh, adjust properly here it's very difficult to adjust because there's no proper par parking lines so and after that you can simply save this one and guys i have very good quality camera this is night around now 646 very dark here dark means there's a light street light but even dark even there's zero light zero light you will still see the um, images like hd hd quality even uh, even a small bird uh, run from here you will see that much very good this is very good very nice uh, camera uh, what else i can tell about this device okay i'll go to parking uh, radio i don't listen nowadays radio that much um, radio have small issues uh, some stations i don't get properly uh, i mean if i go from uh, out of my city dubai sometimes the channel does not give proper you know uh, sorry it doesn't give uh, clear uh, music like it's very loudly i don't know why that one only i have issues radio but i don't care about radio and also i cannot save the radio station sometimes i can save here with the names sometimes i don't know whenever i uh, you know restart the unit it is disappeared so i don't know why it's happening uh, but i don't care about radio 
Um, yeah, you have. Yeah, you have a speed limit here. Date. Uh, uh, also, I have uh, my uh, alternator power, 14.2 now. And uh, after I shut down my car, I can see the my battery power. It's easy. You can go to settings. Um, I think you need to go. Uh, um, yeah, general. Go to general. Under car battery level, you have to put display. If you hide, it goes. If you put display, it come back. So like that settings are there. Uh, phone battery also you can see. So if your mobile is connected to uh, this car unit, okay. I I think I off the Bluetooth. Before I go, I off the Bluetooth, so I had to now connect manually. So I had to con connect it. Let me disconnect this all because I connect the Android. Okay, um, yeah, in the mobile, you see, I can see car battery level, uh, 5G, uh, time, uh, this everything in CarPlay is nice, very nice, very smooth, very good, no hanging, no lagging, no complaint about this one, guys. Okay, guys, I will stop my video now. If you have anything, you can comment me in my channel. I will uh, respond to you with, uh, if you uh, want to know anything. Okay, thank you, guys.